When the world's most renowned physicists announced a finding that defied all logic, even the most skeptical scientists were left scratching their heads. After years of painstaking research, the scientists working at CERN uncovered a phenomenon that discloses the curious world of subatomic particles and particle physics. The Large Hadron Collider has just unveiled another shocking discovery that has left scientists thrilled and alarmed. Join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the mystery behind this new terrifying revelation by CERN. CERN is at the forefront of exploring the fundamental laws of the universe. It conducts experiments to understand the structure of matter, the fundamental particles that make up everything, and the forces governing their interactions. Known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN is one of Earth's most technologically advanced and compelling places. It is an intergovernmental organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory globally and comprises 23 member states. The member states include European countries such as Switzerland, France, Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom. These member states contribute financially to the organization and participate in its decision-making processes through the CERN Council. The Council consists of representatives from each member state and oversees CERN's overall strategy and operation. CERN's research often drives technological advancements. Developing particle accelerators, superconducting magnets and advanced detectors has led to innovations in fields such as medicine, material science and computing. The laboratory is situated in a northwestern suburb of Geneva, on the border of France and Switzerland. With half of the world's particle scientists working at CERN, it is currently running the world's highest energy particle collider, the Large Hadron Collider. With the help of over 10,000 scientists, hundreds of universities and laboratories from more than 100 countries, CERN built the most gigantic and potent particle collider between 1998 and 2008. Physicists worldwide eagerly awaited the activation of the Large Hadron Collider. After years of construction, the machine was finally refined and began operating in 2008. One riveting fact about CERN is that it played an integral role in developing the World Wide Web. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist at CERN, proposed a system of information sharing using hypertext called the World Wide Web. He developed the first web browser and web server, laying the foundation for the modern internet as we know it today. CERN made the World Wide Web technology freely available, spreading its widespread adoption and revolutionizing how we access and share information globally. So in addition to its contributions to particle physics, CERN also played a pivotal role in creating the World Wide Web. Since its conception in 2008, CERN has helped solve many enigmas of the universe. However, during a recent test with a new maximum beam of energy, CERN scientists noticed an unexpected anomaly. The cause of this anomaly is currently unknown and subject to speculation. The Large Hadron Collider, better known as LHC, is the mighty atom smasher that has captivated the world with its mind-boggling discoveries and sheer incredibility. Before the LHC, the most fundamental aspects of our universe remained shrouded in suspense, leaving scientists to speculate about what lay beyond the limits of their understanding. With the creation of the LHC, everything changed. The veil of uncertainty was lifted, ushering in a new era of discovery and understanding. The LHC is a circular tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference, buried 175 meters underneath the Swiss-French border. The energy it takes to run this behemoth is so massive that it has a dedicated power station. What really makes the LHC so fascinating is what it's capable of doing. It's a giant particle accelerator that can smash subatomic particles together at unimaginable speeds and energies, revealing the universe's fundamental building blocks. When these particles collide, they release a burst of energy that can create new particles. The LHC has a particle accelerator called the Atlas Detector. It helps scientists understand the universe's fundamental structure. The Large Hadron Collider is an extraordinary feat of science, and the energy of its first collision was simply mind-blowing. It reached a whopping 3.5 tera electron volts per beam, almost four times more than the previous world record. After enhancements, it went as high as 6.5 tera electron volts for each beep. The collider has four crossing points where particles collide, and seven detectors placed close to these points pick up all sorts of occurrences. 
Proton beam collisions are what this machine does best, but it can also speed up beams of heavy ions, especially lead ions. Proton lead and lead lead collisions are carried out for one month each year. The primary objective of the Large Hadron Collider is to test the predictions of many particle physics theories. Hadrons are subatomic composite particles consisting of quarks and are held together by a strong force, much like how the electromagnetic force holds together atoms and molecules. Baryons like protons and neutrons are among the commonly understood hadrons. The pion and kaon mesons, first identified during cosmic ray tests in the late 1940s and early 1950s, are also included in these hadrons. Launching particle beams at unprecedented energy levels from the Large Hadron Collider has led to a groundbreaking discovery in particle physics. Quarks are fundamental particles in six flavors – up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom. They usually combine in groups of twos and threes to form hadrons such as protons and neutrons, which make up atomic nuclei. However, they can also combine in rare cases to form exotic hadrons known as tetraquarks and pentaquarks. These particles were predicted by theorists about six decades ago, but only in the past 20 years were they observed by experiments such as LHC. Most exotic hadrons discovered in the past two decades contain a charm quark and a charm antiquark, with the remaining quarks being up, down or strange quarks or their antiquarks. However, LHC has recently discovered new types of exotic hadrons. A few years ago, they found a tetraquark made up of two charm quarks and two charm antiquarks as well as two open charm tetraquarks containing a charm antiquark, an up quark, a down quark, and a strange antiquark. In 2021, they discovered the first ever double open charm tetraquark containing two charm quarks and an up and a down antiquark. Open charm refers to a particle that contains a charm quark without an equivalent antiquark. The LHC collaboration has now announced the discovery of new types of exotic hadrons, the first is a pentaquark observed in the negatively charged B meson decays analysis. It comprises a charm quark, a charm antiquark, an up quark, a down quark, and a strange quark. This is the first pentaquark found to contain a strange quark and has a statistical significance of 15 standard deviations, far exceeding the five standard deviations required to claim the observation of a particle in particle physics. The second type of exotic hadron is a tetraquark that is doubly electrically charged. This tetraquark comprises a charm quark, a strange antiquark, an up quark, and a down antiquark. It was discovered alongside its neutral counterpart while analyzing the decays of positively charged and neutral B mesons. The statistical significance of the discovery was 6.5 standard deviations for the doubly charged particle and 8 standard deviations for the neutral particle. This is the first time that a pair of tetraquarks has been observed. Niels Tuning, the physics coordinator for LHCB, states that they discover more types of exotic hadrons as they perform more analyses. This discovery period is similar to the 1950s when a particle zoo of hadrons was discovered. This ultimately led to the quark model of conventional hadrons in the 1960s. Chris Parks, the spokesperson for LHC, believes that finding new types of tetraquarks and pentaquarks and measuring their properties will help to develop a unified model of exotic hadrons. The exact nature of these hadrons is still largely unknown, but understanding them will also help to comprehend conventional hadrons better. Some theoretical models describe exotic hadrons as single units of tightly bound quarks, while others see them as pairs of standard hadrons loosely bound in a molecule-like structure. Further studies of exotic hadrons will determine whether they are one, the other, or both. The LHC has already made many remarkable discoveries. In 2012, a tiny particle of paramount importance was discovered. Higgs boson, also called the God particle, is one of the most elusive and intriguing particles in the universe that captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Physicists are searching for an enormous family of new particles predicted by subatomic particle theories and measuring the Higgs boson's characteristics. What exactly is the Higgs boson and why is it so important? To answer that question, we must return to the universe's beginning, where we find ourselves in a hot, dense and infinitely small point called a singularity. Particles appeared as the universe expanded and cooled due to the Big Bang. The Higgs boson is a particle that plays a crucial role in giving all other particles mass. Without it, 
the universe would be weightless and chaotic, with no stable atoms, molecules, chemistry or biology. The Higgs boson is the particle associated with this field and is the key to solving the universe's weight problem. Its discovery was a significant advancement in particle physics, earning Peter Hicks and Françoise Angler the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. Despite this breakthrough, the fundamental forces that govern our world remain a riddle, including gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong nuclear force. In the absence of the Higgs field, particles would not have mass as they require interaction with it. This field is present throughout all of space, and its absence would result in a universe with massless particles and a vastly different structure. The Higgs boson is the particle associated with this field. If not for the Higgs field, fundamental particles would be forced to move at an unchanging speed of light, unable to slow down or stop. The importance of the Higgs boson goes beyond just being a building block of the universe. It's also a way to unlock some of the universe's deepest secrets. For instance, scientists believe the LHC may help us discover a fifth fundamental force hidden in the cosmos. Some suspect that this fifth force might be linked to extra dimensions. And then there's dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up 27% of the universe but cannot be detected because it doesn't interact with electromagnetic force. The universe is composed of more than what we can see with our eyes. The stars, planets and galaxies only make up a small portion of its content. The matter we are familiar with, which makes up everything we can touch and see, is only 5% of the universe. The remaining 95% is made up of dark matter. It exerts a strong gravitational force on visible matter, holding galaxies together and controlling their movements. Dark matter outweighs visible matter by 6 to 1. Some theories suggest it could contain supersymmetric particles, which are difficult to detect, but experiments at the Large Hadron Collider may provide clues about their existence. However, dark matter particles could be unleashed into our world, wreaking havoc and destruction on an unfathomable scale. The hunt for the Higgs boson has been a long and arduous journey filled with countless obstacles and setbacks. Despite the challenges, scientists pressed on, driven by a desire to understand the fundamental nature of the universe. However, with great power comes great risk, and some fear that the LHC may unleash a catastrophic event that could spell doom for us all. When determining the mass of the Higgs boson, scientists considered several options as the standard model did not offer any guidance. Additionally, the particle quickly decays into other particles upon creation, making it challenging to observe. Theorists predicted that there would be multiple potential decay products for the Higgs boson, making the search even more complex. Despite these challenges, researchers persisted in their pursuit due to their strong motivation. Researchers risked everything to collide protons together in a bid to find evasive particles. As the search intensified, so did fears about the consequences of playing guard with the LHC. Some people believe the LHC is a secret portal to the underworld capable of unleashing demons and other terrifying creatures into our world. Others claim that the LHC is a powerful weapon capable of destroying the entire planet with just the flip of a switch. Some even think the LHC is a government plot to control our minds and turn us all into mindless zombies. Some believe that the LHC is up to some seriously sinister stuff. They claim that the particle collisions at the LHC are part of a secret government experiment to create a new world order where only the elite would be allowed to survive. This apocalyptic theory revolves around the idea of a false vacuum, a theoretical state of space where the energy is not at its lowest possible level. If the LHC were to create a false vacuum, it could trigger a series of catastrophic events that would ultimately end everything we know. This doomsday scenario may seem like a far-fetched idea, but it is a genuine concern for some experts. The LHC experiments could potentially create the conditions necessary for a false vacuum. The risks associated with a false vacuum are so profound that they could change everything we know about the universe. Although the creation of black holes in the LHC is considered unlikely, the potential consequences of a false vacuum are so grave they cannot be ignored. If you're wondering why the collapse of the universe hasn't occurred yet, it's because the Higgs field needs to surpass a massive energy barrier through quantum tunneling to reach the lower energy actual vacuum state. This process would take an awfully long time, possibly longer than the age of the universe. Therefore, there is no need to worry about the universe's descent at this point in time. The Higgs field is currently in a metastable state and trapped in a false vacuum region. 
This implies that while there is a genuine possibility of a catastrophic event, it is not an urgent issue. The existence of numerous unknown particles and states of matter has frightening implications for our comprehension of the universe. This raises the concern of what other entities may present in space's enormity. Even more astounding particles that have not yet been identified might be out there on the verge of discovery. Quite possibly, they could have disastrous consequences for our existence. These particles may be able to disrupt the fabric of space-time or pose a danger to our planet. The LHC is helping us unlock some of the universe's deepest secrets while posing potential risks that cannot be shunned. It's like a giant cosmic party where keen researchers are ready to uncover some of the most profound mysteries of our universe. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.